guys welcome back to my art channel I hope everybody's doing good so I introduced this chair in a video that I never actually posted it's actually the first of this video where you see me sanding away this is a chair I got at a thrift store and I just see it as living art so it's gonna be an art piece but it's also gonna be a functional art piece so maybe it's not living art maybe it's functional art We'll see. But anyway, I've sanded it all. I just wanted to sand it enough to knock the glaze off of it. Like I said, I got it for seven, $6.95, $7 at a thrift store. And now all I'm about to do is coat it in some kilt, some primer, and then the real art will start after that. But I thought I'd bring you along for this part for a little bit um, and just say hi and hopefully you'll see this soon. Well, I just wanted you to see what I was doing. I will see you next time. Next time is the fun part because we're going to start with a really cool thing I'm excited about. Okay, so I finally got the base coat of old comics down. And what I'm doing now is I'm taking another vintage comic, but it's white and not yellowed. And I'm going to place them all over in random spots. I'm not doing it solid because I want the old comics to shine through too, but I'm gonna place them in varying, various locations on the chair so that they pop. Then once I get these all uh, decoupaged down, I'll then let this dry thoroughly and I will come back with some paint, probably in a red and a blue, and kind of do some highlighting, making it look 3D around some of the comics, and then come back again with another coat of decoupage and be done and I'm super excited this is a very customized very um you know I call it functional art but this is very much my kind of art it's kind of got a pop kind of an unexpectedness to it and hopefully I will have a full show in spring of 2022 and this will be there hopefully as well but right now it's going in my living room so let's get started putting the next layers on, which aren't solid layers again. They're just gonna be hit and miss to add some brightness and to draw your eye over to the piece and then over the piece. Now I'm gonna add some more around the chair and I will be back. All right guys, as you can see on the seat, I've got the brighter ones all down super excited it's all gonna dry I'm gonna pull you out a little bit okay you can see the lighter ones on the top parts too like I said I'm super excited it's gonna dry then I think I'm gonna come in with some black and kind of highlight it and do some accenting with it and I think it's gonna look amazing. So stay tuned, we're almost done with our chair art, our functional art. And okay guys, so it's dried. So now I'm gonna come with my black paint and my brush and just kind of highlight around so they kind of pop a little bit. Hey guys, I'm done. It's finally finished. I am so freaking excited. I started this in June when I bought this plain wooden brown chair that you saw at the beginning at a thrift store for $6.95. I uh, primed it, I put a layer of comic books on it, and then I went back with a brighter comic on top and then highlighted everything with a black paint. And it looks so amazing. I just can't get over how good it looks. It's a functional art piece. It's a one of a kind going to be on my art website so the link is down below be sure and check it out over there it's not for sale but if you would like to commission a functional art piece be sure and uh, get in touch with me on the website also my next functional art piece will be a guitar so stay tuned 
Let's go in for a little closer look at this before we say goodbye. It just looks amazing. On the back there, you can see the brighter comics, which are just here and there. You can also see them on the chair seat, which I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer. And there you can see the chair seat. The back is also has these brighter comic strips outlined in black. They just pop. I outlined all the edges. It kind of gives you a, I don't know, just an edge. Like it's almost a comic itself and not real. Anyway, guys, I hope you love this as much as I do. Be sure and check out my art website. There's a lot of art over there. Thanks for being here as usual. Take care and have an awesome day.